Welcome back, True Seeker. If you've watched the news today, June 13th, 2024, you've likely seen this story circulating. The news broke last night, June 12th, that a man had been arrested in New York who was heavily armed with weapons, knives, an NYPD embroidered bulletproof vest, and a Guy Fox mask. Again, Guy Fox mask from Remember, remember the 5th of November, the Jesuit plot to blow up King James, November 5th, 1605. And again, this year, the election is November 5th, and both candidates are Jesuit educated, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But in light of this arrest happening yesterday, June 12th, and the man appearing in court today, the arrested June 13th, the day that the news is circulating, here's what I, here's what I want you to, <laughs> to notice. The accused, the man who was arrested with all the weapons and the Guy Fox mask, his name is Judd Sanson, and Guy Fox's actual name is Guido Fox. And notice how in Gematria, Judd Sanson overlaps with Guido Fox, 121 59. Again, the last presidential election was the 59th that all this turmoil came out of and bad blood between Trump and Biden. So, Guy Fox being connected to the gunpowder plot of November 5th, 1605. Notice in light of this making the rounds today, June 13th, it's the 165th day of the leap year, and it's the day leaving 201 days remaining. Notice how in Gematria, gunpowder plot equates to 165. And notice how the gunpowder plot was carried out by the Jesuits. It's known as the Jesuit treason. The Jesuit order equates to 201. And again, you guys can look it up. We're in the time of the first ever Jesuit pope. He's the first to live in suite 201 at the Vatican. You can look into how the Jesuits were suppressed. And their suppression ended in the time of the only 201 present, James Madison, but also in the time of their suppression, their order was preserved by Catherine the Great, who preserved the order with 201 Jesuit priests. And the list goes all the way back to their beginning. They were created 201 months after the Martin, after Martin Luther pinned the 95 Theses, starting the Protestant Reformation. And with regards to the Protestant Reformation, King James put out a Protestant Bible, and that's what the gunpowder plot was about trying to sabotage King James and the plan for this Protestant Bible. Uh, back at that time, the Catholic Church was trying to hoard knowledge, and a lot of people couldn't read, and you know, the Catholic Church wanted to have this, this ability of language over people. But uh, again, the gunpowder plot was a Catholic thing. The gunpowder plot of 1605 in earlier centuries often called the gunpowder treason plot or the Jesuit treason was an unsuccessful attempted regicide against King James I by a group of English Catholics led by Robert Catsby. Okay, so Catholics. So check this out. Today, the day that he appears in court, the day that this is making the rounds where CNN showing you over and over the guy Fox mask on the table. Today's 145 days before the election. The word Catholic in Gematria is 145. And again, there's 145 more chapters in Catholic Bibles than Protestant Bibles. So you don't think this is a, a ritual of a news story? You don't think this is more propaganda by the numbers? Another excuse for why you need to pay all these taxes so you can have these government officials who keep you safe? Imagine if the NYPD weren't out there and didn't get the guy in the Guy Fox mask with all the weapons and hatchets who has no criminal history. <laughs> Uh, again, you guys, this, this is how they, this is how they, through the propaganda and the programming, they legitimize their government and say, see, this is what you pay for. We kept you safe. This could have been a, this could have been another uh, horrible tragedy in the news. The NYPD saved you. Look at the guy Fox mask on the screen. Again, you guys, the Jesuits gave us the calendar, the capital for this nation. It's where the Jesuits came and set up camp when certain founders were concerned about what the Jesuits could do to this nation if they came out of suppression, namely James Madison and, or not James Madison, excuse me, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, who just happened to die on the same day on the nation's birthday, July 4th, 7-4, when both Holiday and Killing are 74, and so is Roman, and all roads lead to Rome, and Roman architecture all over the nation's capital. The 74th day of the Jesuit calendar that we're on that says today is June 13th, um, again, the 74th day of the year is to remember the killing of Caesar. 
Three of the first five U.S. presidents dead on 7-4. Who do you think has been doing these rituals all the time by the number code? Again, look up the uh, song Gematria, the killing name. Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. Look up the song Murder by Numbers by the Police from 1983, where killing's as simple as ABC is 1, 2, 3, and murder equates to 83. But, uh, yeah. I, I guess the one other thing that they're trying to draw on parallels of the 9 11 terrorism in New York in this story, and, and it did first break on number 41's birthday. George Herbert Walker Bush, whose son was the president when 9-11 happened. The same George Herbert Walker Bush who gave the speech about a new world order September 11th, 1990, 11 years to the day of the attack. Again, new world order equals the Jesuit order in Gematria. We'll see what they got for us November 5th. In 1968, the election was on November 5th, and there were some major political assassinations that year along the way. MLK killed... (laughs) Again, MLK killed on the 95th day of the year. Martin Luther wrote the 95 Theses. The Jesuits credited 201 months after he wrote and penned the 95 Theses, the nation's first major gun control legislation in 1968, October 22nd, 201 days after MLK was killed. So we'll keep this one short and sweet. Um, again, if, if you think it's all a coincidence, you should check out my shop. I got the Coincidence Theorist t-shirt right there and it would fit you so well so until next time true seeker